All right, as I said to Kona Daktari Hapa, Dr. Okelo, how are you, my friend? I am very fine. Thank you so much, uh, my friend, Jeremy Demaris. Good to, Good to you see again. you after a long time. I think the last time to Kona Yata, before COVID, Jameni. Actually, it was during COVID uh, when oh, I did the uh, interview for, uh, I think it was the 2020 KCFA Annual National Conference. Right. Like in, right before COVID, we met in person up there in uh, uh, Alabama. Alabama. Yeah, yes. sure. Thank God that you are back here again. And uh, we appreciate you for what you're doing for Kenyan community. Nasema mungu kubariki. And when I grow up, I want to be like you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. You have your ambitions set too low. <laughs> <laughs> higher than, than just wanting to be like me. But thank you. I appreciate to, I appreciate you for those kind words. Asante yes. sana. Now, sana sana watu wengi about the, who are in here in diaspora, when we talk about KCFA, watu wengi wanaijua na kuna wale wengine bado hawaijui. Ebu tuanzi hapo, kwanza ufanya introduction, usalimi wataza maju wetu, and then utuabie KCFA ni nini, then from there we go ahead. Yes, uh, let me greet you all, all of you who are watching in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Na wasalimu nyote, asante ni sana kwa kuungana na sisi hapa katika kipindi hiki. It is just such a pleasure. Uh, I am Joseph Okello, the president of Kenya Christian Fellowship in America. I have one more year as president. Next year, they will be electing a new president because KCFA's constitution does not allow me to run for a third term. So I'm completing my second term. And uh, it has been a pleasure to work for KCFA. And so KCFA is really a community of Kenyans who are Christians wanting to fellowship together right here in the United States. And our task is to present the gospel of Jesus Christ to not only people of Kenyan descent, but also to people of all sorts of nationalities residing here in the United States. Yeah, Jumuiya, our Christo, Ushirika, our Christo, Hapa Marekani. That is who we are. And our job is to preach the gospel, to present it, because as you probably know, the gospel is uh, getting a little bit watered down in many ways. But we want to maintain that authentic Christianity as presented and articulated in the Bible. Yondio kazietu, to be honest. Amen. Asante sana. At least now what we're going to do KCFA. Now, by then, we were in existence for how long? Because when you to America, KCFA was still there. Yes, uh, we've been in existence for 31 years. This year is our 31st year. And we've had uh, about 26 chapters. Believe it or not, we now have a chapter in Nairobi uh, wow. that also has, uh, it's recently started about three, maybe four years ago. I even met with the members there uh, mm -hmm. this July when I was in Kenya. But we have, we have existed for 31 years. It started as one single entity right there in Alabama where you are. Mm -hmm. And it has just blossomed. It was started by Dr. Joe Karogi, who moved to North Carolina. And now he's in Seattle. And he's trying to make sure that KCFA is just spreading throughout the United States. We have a chapter in California. We have a chapter in Seattle. We have a chapter in Colorado. We have a chapter in Arizona. We have a chapter in Houston. We have a chapter in Austin. We have uh, a chapter in Florida here. We have chapters in Pennsylvania. We have chapters in uh, Baltimore, Maryland, and Washington, D.C., and up in, uh, in Boston, Massachusetts. We have a chapter in North Carolina. I mean, we have chapters all over, even in Atlanta, Georgia. And if anybody wants to begin a chapter, you are welcome. Just give us a call. We just You just need to be two, maybe three Kenyan Christians there, or just Christians, and then you call us, and we'll come and uh, inaugurate a chapter there. So we've been in existence for 31 years. I think I've answered more than you asked for. <laughs> Amen. I know. But, uh, in fact, in Kuala everything starts in Birmingham, in Alabama. <laughs> yes, it looks like it. It looks like it. Yeah. Most of I'm the sorry. things. Now... Uh, most uh, one of your biggest achievement actually was uh, between that time when you were in COVID, and uh, I'm very sure that you are building the biggest retreat I think for Kenyans in the US. Correct. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. we are trying to do that. We are trying to do that. We bought a piece of land. The first time I did an interview with you was to help rally Kenyans to help raise us funds to build to be uh, to buy a piece of land. Right. And uh, the Kenyans were faithful. Mm -hmm. They made their contributions and we bought the piece of land in cash 
74 acres of land. It is now in place. We have drawn the, uh, we have done the, uh, what do you call it, the survey. We have done the site plan. We have received the permission from the city of Norlina to begin building. We have a permit now to begin building. And right now we are in the process of doing the architectural drawings for the buildings and how they're going to look like. We even have, uh, what do you call it? We have a drone rendition of how the retreat center will look like. Anyone who wants to see how it looks like can go to our website and see how it looks like, how it will look like eventually. But it's a mammoth project. It'll cost us $45 million. Mm -hmm. Wow, $45 million. That's uh, in Kenya shillings. How much is that? Oh, wow, that proves that uh, you guys, you have a great vision for years to come. We, and this vision was started by Dr. Joe Karogi, as I said earlier, and it continues to blossom in many ways. It is actually a project that is even bigger than one person. Mm -hmm. This seems to have been God um, putting it into the heart of Dr. Joe Karogi and then spreading that vision amongst the people who caught on to it, uh, including uh, the past presidents such as Dr. Gidumbi, uh, Brother Mwindi, Dr. John Jiroge, Lucas Kimani, Dr. Duncan Kihoro, and now I'm the seventh president of KCFA. And the vision continues, and we are hoping that it will materialize. Mm -hmm. And we are building this for our children, uh, mm -hmm. for the people who will come after us, because this is going to take about 11 years to, to complete. You know, someone is asking, why build such a big uh, project in North Carolina? Why North Carolina? North Carolina happens to be the place that just agreed with us. Bear in mind that we did begin the project. We had uh, located a retreat center that was almost fully built somewhere in Tennessee. But for one reason or another, it just did not work. And then we asked members of KCFA to help us find a place where we can buy, uh, build a retreat center. And the first place that came to mind was North Carolina. There was a piece of land that we were looking at and that just fell through. And then a realtor helped us find this piece of land at 00 Heaven Street. That was the original address. And when we saw 00, Heaven Street as the address, we felt as if God was telling us this is going to be your place. What better place to be than a place called heaven, which is God's own house. <laughs> Amen. Awesome. Yes. Sir. Wow. Now, as you said earlier, that you need 45 million US dollars to construct this big retreat center. Now, what is the plan? How are you guys uh, collecting these funds? We are collecting the funds primarily through our members. Mm -hmm. We are asking as many members of KCFA as possible to commit themselves to give monthly towards our, our, our account. If we can have, you know, 5,000 members making a contribution of 10000 no, $10 a month, 5,000 members making a contribution of $10 a month for a whole year, that is uh, over half a million. That is 600,000 US dollars. That will help us begin the process of groundbreaking. So we are talking to our members and asking them to, to and everybody else who are committed, uh, everybody else who is committed, I'm sorry, to uh, this goal and to this intention. But there's another it's another plan that I'm using right now as president. I have written several books mm -hmm. and I have linked those books to KCFA account. Right. So that if somebody buys any of my books, the money does not go to me. I don't take that money home. That money goes to KCFA's mm -hmm. retreat center account and that money hopefully gets to help build the the retreat centers so i'm trying to see if we can get as many people as possible kenyans and non-kenyans americans and non-americans to go to amazon and buy those books and uh, help us build this retreat center wow you know so many people write books 
either to educate, either to make money, uh, in fact, make a living out of it. But now for you, yes. it's a different story. You are giving out your wisdom, knowledge to support this great ministry? Yes, it's actually one way. Uh, it is how I've been raising funds. Um, now, I'll admit sometimes uh, when I sell books, the money goes to me. But when I say that if you sell, if uh, you buy this book, the money will go to KCFA, then I remain completely committed to that. I don't take any of that money home with me. So yes, uh, God has used me to raise funds in that way. God has used me to raise funds to build a church in Kenya just by selling books. And I don't take that money home with me. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I hope that people can buy the books. And uh, so when you read that book, hopefully it blesses you spiritually. But the very action of you buying the book actually builds a retreat center for the ministry of the gospel. Wow. I think I like that portion. I think I like that. Now, I know you have a book by the name, uh, Why Your Life Matters. Is that one yes, of the book that you're selling? Yes, that's one of the books that I'm selling. In fact, it's hot off the press. Uh, it just got published in uh, the month of July. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is a very simple, easy to read book. If you remember, uh, last year and the year before, there was a big talk about Black Lives Matter. Black right. Lives Matter. And my task here is to underscore not only that black lives matter, but to underscore the fact that all lives matter. Mm -hmm. And in that book, what I'm trying to show is that each person is intrinsically valuable. You are intrinsically valuable. I am intrinsically valuable. And when you think about it, as I say in that book, there will never ever be another you there will never be another you even a cloned version of you will not really replace you because a cloned version of you does not have the memories you have does not have the experiences you have does not even have the voice that you have a cloned version of you is a very poor substitute so your life matters because you are intrinsically valuable, you are irreplaceable, and that is the unique message of that entire book throughout, from the first chapter all the way up to the eighth chapter. Wow. Now, if somebody wants to buy that book, uh, Why Your Life Matters, you go to Amazon? Yes, buy sir. From that. Yes. Just, yeah, just go to Amazon. There are three versions. There's the Kindle version, which comes directly to your phone, and that's $8. Okay. There's the paperback version, which you can basically buy, and it will be shipped to you. Uh, and that's about $12. And then there is the hardcover version, which also will be shipped to you when you buy it. And that's about uh, 17 maybe $18. Uh, because of the hardcover, but and once you buy that and you pay your five dollar, your eight dollars, or twelve fifty, or eighteen dollars, that money does not to me. It doesn't go to my account. I don't get rich by selling that book. You bless mm. KCFA by buying that book. That money goes directly to KCFA's account. I've already linked it up with KCFA's account, mm. and uh, we will obviously give a breakdown of how, how much money has been raised just by the sale of those books and how that money has been used in the process of helping to build the retreat center. Wow, nice one. Now, apart from the Why Life Matters, you have another book selling for the same purpose? Yes, there's another book. There's another book called Developing Intimacy mm -hmm. with God. Developing Intimacy with God. And when you're dealing with uh, that book, when you read that book, it teaches you how to draw closer and closer to God through Bible study, how to draw closer to God through prayer, how to draw closer to God through fellowshipping with other believers, how to draw closer to God through worship. And, uh, you know, we have to face it. There are times that God just feels so distant. He feels so hidden. But the purpose of this book 
is to underscore the importance of the fact that God is always near to you. God has never moved away from you. In fact, the Bible says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. So the purpose of that book is to help you draw closer to God and become more and more intimate with God in your relationship with him. So that whenever you pray, you don't doubt that God is hearing your prayers. You're actually confident that he's near you and he's hearing your prayers and he's going to meet you at your points of need. That's the purpose of that book and that's the message of that book. Wow. Now, kuna wale watu ambao washanunua hizi vitabu ama mtu amenunua kitabu, maybe mlikutana na yeye mahari akasema, "Hey, you know what? Akanunua." Now, for this time na ako nazo vitabu. Is there any other way to support? There are many other ways to support KCFA. Uh, just send your contributions to the bank account uh, number that is flashing across the screen mm -hmm. and you know just send your contributions and we will make it make sure that you receive your receipt because your contributions are tax deductible uh, because KCFA is a 501c3 organization that has been opera uh, authorized to operate the way it, it does operate so uh, when you give us your support when you make that contribution uh, it is tax deductible and you can f use that information to mm -hmm. file your taxes. So well, I just I just appeal to everyone, if you want to get the value for your money, buy the book. But if you just want to make a contribution to KCFA, maybe $10, maybe $20, maybe $50, maybe $100, go ahead and make the contribution. We have a very able treasurer who is on top of things, she will immediately respond to you and give you the receipts for your tax purposes. Uh, that's how we have already positioned ourselves. Yes. yes sir. Thank you very much, Abuana President. And of course, Kunamuto Najuliza, Sasahi Retreat Center that you are building in North Carolina that is costing over 45 million US dollars. Will it be only for Kenyans or what? what is the mission now? Ah, thank you. That's a great question, and I'm glad you asked it. It's not for Kenyans only. It is for anyone who wants to come and do his retreat or their retreat there. Uh, there are various facilities that people will need to be aware about. We will have mm -hmm. a welcome center. Obviously, if you have a retreat center, you need to have a welcome center. Mm -hmm. We will also have not just a welcome center. Uh, when you look at the video drone, it shows that we are going to have a an African museum right there. And that African museum will involve the history of KCFA and many other things African. And then as the drone proceeds over to the other side, it will show that we are going to have a Christian university, a Christian university that will make available high tech state of the art education to not just members of KCFA, but even to people uh, in the United States here and those in Kenya who want to have uh, good education online in Kenya, but uh, education administered from here. And then we will also have a sports center. When we presented this request to the city of Norlina and we showed them that there's going to be a sports center, there will be a swimming pool there, there'll be tennis courts, there'll be a basketball court. When they saw that, they were so excited. They said, this is what we wanted because we've been taking our children 15 miles away from here for their swimming lessons. We, if we have it here, that's great. And then there'll be a place where those who have come to that uh, retreat, uh, not retreat center, but sports center in that retreat facility, they'll be staying, they'll be housed in there. There will be a wedding chapel. And then there'll be many, many small cottages that will be for small groups, churches, organizations that just want to come and do their retreats right there. And then there will also be a walking trail for anybody who wants to walk around there and just be in tune with nature. And then we will also have a youth center for our children. And then we will have an auditorium where we will be conducting our conferences. We'll not only have an auditorium, we'll have a ballroom and we will have a 
cafeteria system, a kitchen, uh, one kitchen big, one kitchen, maybe three kitchen cafeteria system where people will come together and eat together. And then there will be an African village, Bomas of Kenya style. Uh, and then of course, the one thing I've skipped over will be the dorm facilities. It's like your usual hotels such as uh, Hilton Hotel, such as uh, La Quinta Hotel, such as, uh, uh, you know, uh, these hotels that we are very familiar with, Holiday Inn, will have them right there in that style to house anyone that comes to that retreat center. I think it's going to serve a wide array of people who want to come there. Even if a person is an unbeliever and he wants to use that facility, we, are, we welcome that person, provided that person lives according and inconsistent with our values as believers, because our purpose is to preach the gospel to all people. Thank you very much, Bwana President. And of course, Kidam Kenya, Amber, anyone who was listening to this video, I know now you understand the vision, the mission and the purpose of this call to support and personally i support you 100 percent what you're doing is what everybody is supposed to support actually because we have seen you 31 years bringing kenyans together i've been in one of your events there uh, in, uh, in virginia yes exactly and i've seen you doing good job so there is no reason anyone we, we should withdraw uh i think people need to support you buy these books go to amazon uh order he book we night uh to me semi night why life matters and of course we have yes. another one says developing intimacy with god in fact mm -hmm. to amazon too you just look for dr okelo joseph okelo you'll actually mm -hmm. see the books and buy and by the time you are buying them you are supporting this great vision mutumishi maybe your last yes. call uh, for support ni kupatia sasa hii microphone kuambia sasa ni wewe uko hapa waite watu wako hata kama ni language zote utatumia za nchi ya Kenya ama za kimarekani hata ki Mexican go ahead <laughs> <laughs> asante sana asante sana please uh, watazamaji tunawahitaji kwa sababu hii kazi sio ya KCFA peke yake hii kazi ni yako hii kazi ni ya kila mtu this is going to be a home away from home for Kenyans, but it will also provide a home uh, within the United States for Americans, for all the internationals that come to uh, just have some time with God. So I encourage you, go to our website, www.kcfa.net and make a contribution there or if you want to buy a book, just buy Why Your Life Matters, and the money will immediately go to KCFA's National Bank account, or the other book, Developing Intimacy with God, that will go to KCFA's National Bank account. And by the way, I have linked my entire account to KCFA's National Bank account. So if you buy those other additional books that you see with my name on them, such as Wilderness Moments, Revisiting God, A History and Critique of Methodological Naturalism, Evil and Pain, if you buy those additional books, that money goes directly to KCFA. I don't benefit financially from the sale of those books. So let me encourage you just do this for the glory of god's name we need you to nawahitaji kabisa 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 kutusaidia kujenga this retreat center so that we can have a home away from home this is going to be a wonderful place for all of us to meet and it is not meant for kcfa members only it is meant for you we want you to participate we want you to take uh that responsibility take that initiative and be a part of what god is doing in kenya christian fellowship in america and someday we will meet there and we'll say god has helped us do it i look forward to seeing you there thank you very much perfect asante sana bona president god bless you so much and uh kusabi ya kutueleza hayo mambo mina waombea tu fanaka and of course definitely someday someday we will meet there to kisema 
this far here is Ebenezer. Asante sana. Asante. Asante. Nimeshukuru. Barikiwe sana. Thank thank you bwana president. Asante sana. And of course uh, to kiachana na bwana president as you have said it's good to support. I always tell Kenyans here in US. Ama wale wako UK, Germany, Canada. Na sababu nyinyi hamjaanza muradi kama huu it's good to support us because when you'll need us PSC tutakuja. So what you need to do I think Amazon is still there in the UK ama mahali kwingine ama Canada you can still be able to access uh, that book wherever you are na kama huhitaji kitabu umesikia hujui kusoma kuna watu wako hapa marekani hawajui kusoma but you feel like yes i want to be a partaker of these blessings you can actually do that through cash app number i have the cash app number here it's a dollar sign weka jina kcfa support utume or you can actually use their number uh, because wako pia na number ya 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 cash app na ndio 252422 well 0169 or well go to the website www.k kcfa.net they have so many means of giving hata zel utatuma ukitumia kcfa uh, iko na website yao iko pale actually email yao iko pale you can use that gmail account and you will definitely send their, your support to them na ninajua ya kwamba wale watu watahesabiwa waseme walijenga hiyo madhabahu i think you'll be part of it let us do this not for us because i know in the next 100 years mimi hakuna mtu atakuwa hapa hata wewe labda hutakuwa hapo mimi sinajua 100 years from now sitakuwa and that is an apology in advance but we can do something that will be there even when we are not going to be there iwe inaogelelea watoto wetu thank you very much from here Birmingham Alabama i support KCFA and definitely will have to build this KCFA literate center god bless you naitwa Jeremy Damaris